Okay guys, let's take a look at how we can get the, the root of our character to be a, a good position. And by good I mean a position where we don't have to worry about uh, where it is. So in case we need a root motion or something uh, to drive our uh, collision capture inside Motion Builder, uh, we can um, just get this uh, adjusted automatically. And for that, I'm going to use something called an expression uh, constraint. Um, so I'm just going to start off by dragging that one in. Um, so it's going to look like uh, an Excel spreadsheet, basically. And that's actually not so wrong. Um, um, I'm just going to rename this and call this uh, a root uh, expression. Um, yeah. OK, so what this does is uh, to, uh, it allows us to um, drag in several values from several places. So for example, uh, let's take the chest. Um, uh, because let's say you want the root to be underneath our chest effector. Maybe we wanted it to be on the head, but the head a little bit further, but the head is actually um, it's going to be movement or animation on the head. We don't want uh, the capsule to be moving just because the head moves. So I'm going to put this on, on the chest so the movement follows the chest. So what I'm going to do is select that and press X and then drag that one. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to select my uh, root expression, double click and select my chest effector and then hold X and drag that one down here. So then this little thing sender and receiver pops up and this is going to be a sender uh, and by sender uh, it means that this is going to be something that controls something um, and the receiver is going to be the, the root joint uh, because that's what we want to, uh, to receive uh, stuff from other effectors. Uh, so I'm going to take the root here from the scene and drag that one in just somewhere here and say receiver. So um, when you do that, you get scaling, translation, and rotation. And right now we don't care about rotation, so I'm going to clear that one. And scaling we don't care about either, so get rid of those. So we just end up having, uh, you can drag these around here. Uh, so I'll put them like this. So we have the translation and uh, when you refer to stuff uh, in here, you use uh, use it, uh, the format. Um, so this one, if you wanted to change the translation here, you would say um, A1. So if you type A1, this will the translation for the root will be equal to the chest effects of translation. So if I hit enter, it's going to pop up here, as you can see. And that's not really what we want. We want it to be somewhere uh, underneath our character um, but relative to the chest effector so you can do a few things here you can uh, you we want to construct uh, the X Y and C coordinates for the root translation and the way to do this is to make um, first of all let's delete this uh, is to type in these curly brackets which means we are uh, starting to type in uh, uh, X, Y, and C coordinates. And the way you refer to the coordinates is by saying, I want the X coordinate from the A1. Uh, the X is the zero. And you say comma and A2 uh, square bracket. This is the Y axis and comma and A3 and square bracket. Uh, two, this is the C axis. So if you type this, this is going to be um, a one o oh, a one a a one a one a one. That's what I meant. So this is going to be equal to just typing uh, like we did a one. Okay. This doesn't have any effect, by the way. So equals this is going to be the same as just typing a one. Okay, 
but we wanted to subtract something from this. We want uh, to pull this down a little bit uh, under the ground or under the chest. And if we remember the the way the Unreal Engine character is set up, uh, it has a um, half character half height of uh, sixty nine, I think. So we need to subtract that from the uh, the y axis. So we can actually just go in here and type minus sixty uh, sixty nine like this. That's gonna pull down. Um, position or the location of the the root uh, down here. So now it's going to be following him along. So if we play this, you can actually see that it is also moving a bit uh, according to the location here. So that's what I meant by. Uh, uh, in the beginning, when I said we will generate the, the location of the of the root, this is by using the expression um, constraint. You can also do the same. For example, if you needed to put um, <clears throat> uh, for some reason, you might want to have the uh, the root joint a little bit behind him. You could uh, type in like minus 10 for example I would put him a, a little bit back so now it's going to be uh, right under his head but that depends on on whatever uh, animation we'll have uh, before to get him up here so um, that depends so just uh, another thing you can uh, play around with if you like uh, is that you can type in some kinds of stuff like um, let's say um, Let's say you typed in um, y axis uh, offset, and um, let's say drag this one down here and this copy this. For some reason I can't drag this one down here. I need to copy this. So x doesn't delete, and then paste it in here. And then, for example, if you type in uh, c-axis and type in the 96 here and uh, the 10 here, and you can type in stuff like um, minus c1 and this is c2. So what this does is to allow us to alter the, the offsets uh, just a, a little bit easier just by changing this one. Okay, so that's just uh, a little info. And yeah, I guess it's not really needed, but nice to know. All right, um, so that was a little bit about expression constraints and how to use that to create your uh, artificial route. Oh yeah, and one uh, last thing to note is, uh, let's say you have a, a movement that might and might not go underneath the ground. You might want to make sure that it doesn't run uh, dump under the ground for some reason because of the animation and this uh, these offsets here. And you can actually go to your UE uh, root here and say, okay, my um, the properties, uh, my degree of freedom for the um, translation uh, degree of freedom uh, check that on and say uh, minimum C so that means that uh, it mean it can no longer go below zero and if you want it to make it not go above let's say some different value so right now I have it basically fixed to the ground as you can see here but that's not what I want I just make want to make sure that it doesn't go on under the ground for some reason okay so that's the way you would set that up so that's what I'm gonna uh, actually have um, on my route um, all right so that was uh, it for this video I hope you learned something and uh, see you in the next bye bye